last left our heroes, they were all in Jerome's truck, heading off on an adventure. While they're driving, Victoria or Veronica is driving at the moment, and she's talking to Jerome, and he convinces her to let him get rid of Roxana's drugs, because he decided it'd be a brilliant idea to force her to quit cold turkey. And so, he does that, and then Veronica crashes the car. Pfft. Everyone's okay, but the car is dead, so they all find some place to sleep for the night. And in the morning, they meet Mr. Mort. And Mr. Mort is a really rich con artist guy with old-fashioned tastes. He drives a Rolls-Royce Phantom, the a classic version, not one of the newer versions, because those are just ugly. And he's interested by them, so he gives them all a ride in his car, until they get to sketchy hotel number two. In this story, the trip from Texas to Oregon is entirely populated by sketchy hotels. There's like no normal hotels anywhere. And so, they're all there, and Mr. Mort gives him a ride for basically the rest of the way. His daughter shows up, and then they get to the castle where Perone and the moon live. And... They have a big showdown, and the end. Just keep in mind that this isn't an exhaustive list of everything that happens in the book, because if I told you everything that happened in the book, it would be a really boring book. So there's a lot of stuff that other that happens while this brief summary is happening, and a couple characters die. And, but I'm not telling you who. Corey died already. Everyone knows that. So, that's, that should be enough working knowledge for everything that I say to make some amount of sense. See you tomorrow!